All right, let's pick up right where we left off. Uh, just got done for digging, and it's time to go outside and slaughter some helpless animals. Uh, for those of you that are just joining me, I am the Final Rune, and this is my Minecraft LP Day 1 or 2, I suppose, if you're not into programming logic. Uh, I prefer the uh, chronological ordering of starting with zero instead of one myself because it's usually that one extra free number basically when you're counting things up. I suppose it doesn't make any sense to someone who doesn't know anything about programming. But uh, all programming languages like you uh, you include one, zero as an entity when you're calculating things so it's zero is your first entity despite one being the normally considered to be first in most people's counting logic. Hey, double drops. So, yeah. Um, today's activities will consist mostly of just killing things I encounter, and I'm going to try to harvest some more wood. I need uh, quite a bit of wood for future construction, so uh, wool will be handy as well, but it's a lot harder to get large quantities of it than there is wood, so with any luck, I'll uh, get enough and be able to get some construction construction building done in, in today, but uh, my main focus today is to try to get enough leather to get a piece of armor before the sun goes down, and uh, then I'll probably resume with a little more digging while I wait for the uh, sun to come back up. So we'll see how things go. Um, this world is uh, built off the sea that we used on a uh, forthcoming server that I'll be joining. Uh, if you somehow managed to not see my other episode, which is bizarre, because they're the only people that are actually getting into these shows for my friends that are probably going to be joining me on the server anyway, so, whatever, <laughs> jump, and, um, yeah, it's, it's special, leather, I love leather, uh, I have very few leather things in real life, I wish I had more, I mean, I'm all for the killing of animals for their hides in real life. Um, I'm not one of those PETA freaks. Uh, I'm all for the ethical treatment of animals. Um, at least the ones I'm not eating. <laughs> but uh, if I'm going to eat you, I don't really care what we do with your hide. And if it's soft and, and functional and keeps me warm or keeps me cool, depending on the weather or the status. Yeah, I I'm going to use every last bit of you as you cold deposit. Because, you know, you just you can't beat animal parts. I mean, I understand people are like, oh my god, you got to be ethical. It's like, you know, I'm sure animals feel pain. I don't doubt that in one iota. I mean, anything with a nervous system has to feel pain some way. I'm sure even trees feel pain. But uh, I'm not going to get into tizzy over it. I mean... You think uh, ants care if, like, you know, when they kill an, another insect, if it feels pain? I mean, like a cow's cares when he steps on, you know, ants crawling around if they feel pain? No. I mean, come on, you're just overanalyzing. Just because we have the ability to think and to reason doesn't mean that we're, like, obligated to treat the world as some fragile little thing that should be protected instead of using it as the creatures we are. I mean, it might be a little what some would consider less evolved, but it is certainly a true human nature factor to just be what you are. We're, we're killers, we're murderers, we're thieves, we're, I mean, we chop down forests, we destroy species, we eat and eat and eat, and it's just kind of the way things go. Right, so, off on a tangent there, I uh, kind of got a little distracted, my cat burst in the room and totally threw up my timing, so I'm a little, I hope the timing still lines up properly with my audio and my uh, whatnot, so, just came across a wolf and decided to use some of my bones to uh, charm it, uh, please it, tame it, whatever you want to call it, uh, make that bastard work for me. And uh, the rain started, which is unfortunate. Uh, I don't like the added shadows. And it seems to be adversely affecting my frame rate. I might have to uh, make some slight adjustment on that here in a second. Yeah. 
we'll see. Oh, wait, yep. It's getting a little laggy. But, uh, so yeah, like I said, eating animals. I'm all for eating animals. Let's adjust it view just real quick. So yeah, um, I'm not a uh, an elitist or a, I'm mean, elitist, it's totally the wrong term, I'm not a, um, you know, animal loving freak. I like to uh, eat my animals, of course, you know, not my pets, obviously, I mean, I have a cat and I've had dogs and gerbils and lizards and all sorts of things growing up. but. It's your food. I'm going to eat you. I don't really care if I hurt your feelings because I'm going to eat you. End of the story. So, yes, this, there's my cat. I'm sure it got recorded. Um, uh, yeah. So, gathering wood. Lots of wood. Uh, I don't know what time it is. It's really hard to tell time in the game once it starts raining. Uh, I don't really care for that at all. Uh, sucks you can totally just like miss out. Here, you stop pushing me. There we go. Um, I don't know. This frame rate's still kind of crappy. Okay, I'll have to fix that later. Oh, cows! Yes, yes. Oh, you suck. Anyway, it's just more of the same. More cow. Die cow. So, I don't know, I mean, some people get uh, different methodology. I wonder if there's any, like, vegan players that play Minecraft and they refuse to uh, eat anything but, like, bread and cake and, you know, just, like, never eat pork. Like, it bothers them. Or maybe they're maybe Jewish players. It's like, oh my god, it's not kosher. Does that apply to a video game? I wonder be interesting. I mean, you can't catch fish, so there's, there's that, I guess, if you're Jewish. I have no idea how much energy that restores, but uh, I'll, I'll keep my cooked pork, thank you. <laughs> I mean, I like to make a cake if I ever get around to it, but those are pretty good, too. And, uh, of course, mushroom soup, always a good option. It's like eight or nine hearts or something. I don't know. It's, it's, it's a great restore rate. So... I mean, I could definitely use food. Eventually, I end up getting all sorts of farms built. Uh, I like to harvest and cultivate everything I possibly can. Uh, there, you can never really have too much of a supply in this game. I mean, I've had some games I've played where I end up with, like, literally thousands and thousands of uh, blocks of uh, cobblestone and other things. Um... I even get around eventually I make cobblestone generators because I'm like so die hard into <laughs> I love that into uh, getting you know supply I mean I wish there was a dirt generator so I wouldn't have to go pick up dirt on the rare occasions I need it I mean I mostly use dirt for scaffolding but it also works as a great filler when you've got like holes you need to fill and you don't want nasty things spawning there I know there's a lot of nasty things that like to spawn in the holes. It's a horrible, horrible, uh, yeah, it's not funny. Um, but yeah, I mean, let's make a little more glass here. Um, more than likely the, uh, the home you see there now will become a, like a base, a foundation for a greater home. I'll expand out as I, uh, get more cobblestone. I'll actually increase the walls width uh, by one or two blocks and uh, make it wider at the base. I typically make homes with like a narrower base and a wider ceiling, uh, or a ceiling, second level, third level. Uh, a lot of top heavy looking, mushroom top looking homes. Uh, purely from a survival standpoint, it's just a great way of preventing spiders and it limits the access to your home. I've had a lot of homes that were simply just, you know, a, um, a stairwell that went up, or a stairwell, a, uh, a single pillar with, like, a ladder, you know, to get up. And I guess now, with the, uh, the advent of patches, it, uh, 
certainly would make that kind of facility a lot easier to maintain and keep safe. Uh, before, I always had like a separate like airlock set of doors uh, just to prevent the thing. I've actually had underwater doors before, which are great. That totally prevents all types of mob access completely. And um, here I am. I'm building some. Uh, damn it! I'm getting pushed around by the wolf. Where'd he go? I'm building some uh, steps and uh, half steps to uh, set down a uh, border around the roof uh, so that I can isolate it and keep spiders off of it. Um, hopefully, anyways. I think I've got enough. Right? No. What am I doing? Yeah, four minutes. So, we'll see. Um, I don't know how much time I've left. Look, it's already getting pretty dark in the game. But I definitely prefer my top-heavy homes. I like to put pillars to support them. I mean, I realize you don't need pillars, obviously, but uh, eventually I like to get around to having that sort of thing. And, you know, just because aesthetically it seems more appropriate to have some sort of support. And uh, it's just, you know, I'm a big aesthetics guy. I don't have a, uh, obviously it's like, fugly is all sin at the moment, but uh, it's just uniform and there's like crap everywhere and it's just hideous. I can't stand it. But uh, it does serve its purpose for the moment at least. And I can't reach. Oh, I ran out of steps. I guess I can't count for crap. Let's make one more set, just to be sure. So, oh crap, sun is really going down. I need to hurry. And, oh right, can't reach from here. Oh, well, I probably could, but I don't want to like crooked steps. That should be like, right. uh, step. All you need is just any simple lip just to stop the, uh, um, I remember seeing it in the, uh, the demo of the Minecraft, uh, what are they calling it, the, uh, the Minecraft documentary that the two player party productions, whatever is making, they have, uh, Jeb talking about, he had, he basically just added a ladder, an invisible ladder to the front of spiders so like anytime they bump against something they can just climb their own ladder so that's how they climb over walls now but so as long as you have any kind of lip it prevents them from getting on top of things I mean because you can't you know you hit something but um, I definitely like to uh, I've got them here in monsters already wow they're like one having the wolf made them spawn closer to me brain let's see uh no more tools. Uh, yeah. Go do a little digging stuff. Stuck in the dark now. And uh, here we go. Yeah. I don't know. I wonder if that does affect it. I mean, because the first night I was here, I only had that one zombie show up. And I'm hearing all sorts of stuff now. I've got a, a spider I can hear. I can hear the zombies. And I hear a. Uh, Creeper, uh, creeper. I wish I could hear a creeper. That'd be so much more convenient. They wouldn't sneak up on us. <laughs> I guess they wouldn't be called creepers. Um, but I hear a skeleton out there bouncing around. Tick 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 tick. You can never have enough uh, supply. I think I mentioned that. I love stuff. I'm a uh, I'm a big material person. I like hoarding things. Um, I'm not one of those, like, compulsive hoarder type people, like, they just, like, collect newspapers or something. That's just bizarre. But, like, I, I'm a big fan of stuff in general, like, I'm a, I believe in material wealth and gain. I mean, that may make me a little, um, I guess the term would be, uh, uh, consumer, uh, I'm a big fan of consumerism. I like buying stuff and owning stuff stuff is fun. I mean, it's a measure of my own personal way of thinking, my values and stuff. 
So it's just, stuff is awesome. I mean, no matter whether it's in a game, I mean, it's like Pokemon. You know, you just, you got to collect it all. You, you want everything. It doesn't matter that if it doesn't serve a purpose. It doesn't matter that it's purely aesthetic. It doesn't matter that it just takes up space. It's, I want it all because it's there. I mean, that may not be the most evolved thinking, but... It's certainly just, you know, it's, it's human nature to want, I guess, and we've fed that need with consumer products, and it's just how we are, and I've got no problem with that. Um, some people may not like it. I think it's just a facet of human nature to want things, and then we're simply feeding it. It may not be the most beneficial personal way to feed your need of want. Like, maybe you should fill it with a uh, desire for, um, I don't know, spiritual well-being, maybe, or uh, social gatherings, or well, mobs everywhere. So, you know, but in the meantime, stuff works for me. I mean, I wonder if grass won't grow in that block because the ladder's there. Interesting. Oh, skeleton. Oh, Mr. Skeleton. I get him to come to the door, I can kill a few. Zombie, where'd he go? Oh, there you are. Get over here. Ha ha. Die, zombie, die. Free feathers. Alright. Ooh, creeper, that's that's just not cool. What a big, giant, blocky head you have. I guess I shouldn't be talking. <laughs> I mean, I have a pretty big head, too. Uh, I think I'm gonna go back downstairs. This is getting... Wait. There's a spider on my roof. Ugh. Watch out for that when I come out later. Nothing better than stepping into your house and then immediately getting jumped on by a spider. It's like, jeez, that's what I wanted. Wait, what's, um... No. Wow, my mind is like, oh right, armor, armor. Just enough to make a body piece. Yay, chest armor. For those who don't know, the chest armor gives you the greatest number of like little armor shields. So, uh, let's see what I, yay, check it out. So yeah, that's, that's handy to have. I like it. Oh, he's in a hurry. All right, let's uh, go back to uh, digging, because I don't think I'll be going outside just right now. So, yeah. Oh, I forgot to mention, today's uh, music, the uh, electronic industrial beat you hear going in the background, is by Alyssa Morinova, uh, another artist I found over at Jamendo. Um... I like it. It's got a uh, nice pump the action kind of sound to it. So uh, I thought it'd work for today's mob and uh, NPC killing cycle. Uh, as usual, the links will be in the description bar if you'd like to go check it out yourself. It is licensed under the Creative Common Commons. Um, the word is attributive, or I can't even say it. But uh, I used the word derivative yesterday. It's totally not the right terminology. Um, uh, but attributive works or whatever. It, it's used for distribution and you can make your own variations of it, remixes and whatnot. And apparently every type of using of music on YouTube is considered a remix type thing. So even if you don't actually change the music, it's considered transforming since it's now attached to a video. 
I should be drawing to a close here shortly. I think I'm coming up on 20 minutes. And uh, that's the standard Minecraft day. Let me just finish up my digging real quick. I don't like to uh, drag this out. I'm not sure if I'll be able to keep up this one post every day. Uh, sounds like uh, the rain stopped. One post a day, every day kind of thing. Just because only playing 20 minutes a day just really isn't my style. I only play for like hours. Yep, there's the sun. Well, looks like that'll be the end. I'll uh, see you all tomorrow with another episode. So, goodbye.